Hey, 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 it's Chrissy Lulu. Um, in light of recent events, I wanted to talk about a very special something. And that is going back to the subject of tracing. So recently, both Ross Draws and Bailey J have... I don't want to say come under fire. Um, uh, I think his name is D'Angelo Wallace. He made a video on Ross Draws accusing him of tracing. I didn't watch the video, but I did see Ross Draws' apology. Um, and this is more that we got from him than we got ever got from Holly Brown. So I just kind of want to touch on etiquette of going about something like this. So yes, it's evident that Nobody's perfect and everyone's going to trip up sometimes, but that doesn't make them a bad person. Really, if you want to see kind of the heart of a person, you gotta kind of look at how they respond to a situation. I think Ross Draw's um, reaction to the situation was very formal and it really was admirable. Um, he just went about it saying, hey, you know, I did wrong, there's no excuses for what he's done. Um, he just said he's going to credit the models he uses in the future, and because they're just as important as the art themselves, if you're using someone else's picture, if you're using a reference, I'd say it is appropriate to credit them. And this is something that Bailey J touched on in her most recent video where she exposes herself for tracing. So I know none of us are innocent. Um, most everyone out there who has gotten into drawing has traced at some point and tried to call it off as their own or something. I know I have done that before myself. Um, I think the most important thing to kind of take into account is kind of the ethics of it. Um, now, the way Bailey J traced was she traced a model, so she traced a pose someone was doing instead of drawing it herself. Well, that's not the best thing to do, especially with something that she was selling like she was. Um, it is much better than going and tracing another person's art like Holly Brown has been caught doing. Um, the way that there's a little bit of blurriness with tracing, I believe I mentioned this in my first video, where kind of like there's a little, it really depends on the person, on what someone thinks is right or wrong. I think there's a little bit of haziness in the middle. It's not black and white. If you trace, you're not bad. If you don't trace, you aren't saintly. Um, I think we all do some amount of tracing from time to dot time. Um, Drawing with Waffles made a really good video on tracing and how to appropriately use it. Um, and how to keep yourself from posting this work as your own, um, even if you're tempted to. Um, kind of problem that Holly Brown got into when she posted her piece with the traced Alphonse. Um, drawing with waffles, um, her advice was to print out an opacity lowered piece where you can still see it instead of using tracing paper or a layer on top of it so you cannot separate the drawings. You can't separate the original drawing from the one you have done. So you don't look at it and be like, wow, this looks amazing. I'm going to post it and clean it as my own. There's no temptation there. Um, the problem Holly Brown had was she traced it and then just left it. Um, said, oh, that looks good. Um, I think what would have been better was to trace it and then use the trace as a reference and kind of be like, okay, now that I've kind of gotten a feel for drawing like this, I can 
do this better now. I, I kind of know how to do it and I can kind of exaggerate some shapes and make it my own thing. Um, that would have been fine. Um, I know that situation has kind of cooled down so I'm not going to touch on it too much in this video. If you really want to see how I feel about that, watch my video on that. Um, but I really want to talk about kind of the idea of tracing since it has been going around the art community with big YouTubers a lot recently. Um, and I think it's really what um, Bailey J did with admitting to tracing a pose and admitting that um, yes this was for a con because she needed things and she did it kind of I guess quote unquote in a moment of weakness um, is what I'll say. Those are not her words, those are mine because um, she was in a time crunch which I think any um, there's many of us who are like oh you're feeling pressured and you trip up but the most important thing I think Bailey got from her experience was that the guilt ate her alive and she never did it again just because of how horrible having done that made her feel and then how anxious feeling like oh my god what if I get caught I was tracing um, I can't even link back to the reference I used because what if someone overlays them and catches me cheating and calls me out I'd be ruined um, it's just kind of shows that hey the stress isn't worth it we all mess up sometimes and sometimes we need to mess up a bit before we can actually learn and grow um, in both Ross Straw's situation and Bailey J's situation, I think we see a moment of possible self-reflection in their own work and growth. Um, I think going forward, Ross Straw's is definitely going to be more careful in making sure to reference or make sure making sure to um, go back to the reference and be like le tell people where the origin of his work is, since a lot of his work tends to be photo manipulation. Um, I really have been wanting to talk about that because it's such an interesting kind of art he does where I don't know sometimes if I'd consider it drawing or not because he does always start with real life and then kind of manipulates it into an art piece which it's really a unique way to do it. Um, I'm not going to discount his art and say it's not, but it's really would be something that I would enjoy to kind of do a little deep dive into and kind of look at it and everything because I feel like he kind of strides the line. That's not exactly what I want to be talking about today, um, but that's just the kind of art he does. Um, he does a lot of photo manipulation, so um, if he is going off of a reference and using a photo he has found, he definitely does need a reference back to that. Um, and I think there's definitely going to be some growth in that aspect going forward, and if he used some material that was out there that someone posted, maybe he will be more careful using other people's stuff in the future rather than his own photography or his own pictures um, just so he's less likely to get in any trouble <laughs> um, so to say um, and definitely with Bailey J I have seen a lot of growth in her work over the years so of course that makes me very happy because I've been watching her for a very long time even if I haven't always loved her art. I do like what she says. Um, and her video on this I thought was very admirable and respectable. So she's come out and she's like, hey look, I'm not perfect. And I think that's a really important thing for people who are in high standings to kind of do. Be like, hey, I'm not perfect. Don't put me on a pedestal. Um, not everything I do is right. Because that's definitely the kind of attitude you need to have if you're going to stay out of trouble and it's just a good attitude to have in general um, no one's perfect and no one needs to act like it um, and sometimes 
tracing happens and sometimes it happens just because we mess up. Um, this may feel a little contradictory to a previous the previous video I did on tracing, but um, I feel like with these two situations, rather than tracing over another artist's art, it's tracing over a human pose in a way. So it's tracing over real life, which I feel is not as bad, if that makes any sense. Um, just because I do art history, so we talk about um, things like the Camera Obscura, which I do believe I mentioned in the last video, but I did not know the name of, um, which is a box. It was an early camera that would take an image and you could have it projected onto a page and then you could trace the image that's being projected onto your page. So that's always, that's been a part of art for a while. Now is it totally right? That's kind of where the gray area is, but I feel like that is not to the degree of going out and tracing something that someone put their hard work and effort into, or replicating something, um, if that makes sense. Replicating it and then trying to claim it as your own is really where the problem is, rather than making like a replica of a painting and then being like, it's a replica of this, because that happens all the time. Um, it's just my thoughts on it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, sorry for being a little all over the place with uploading, I'm still trying to get into the swing of things, but yeah, um, let me know what you think down below, leave some comments, leave me a like if you liked it, leave me a dislike if you didn't, um, make sure to hit the sub button down there if you want to see more, um, and keep an eye out because I'm going to be updating some things on my channel. For example, this end screen that's going to be popping up soon. I'm going to fix that up because it doesn't really suit my needs anymore, if you've noticed. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, that's all. I'll see you guys hopefully next week. And yeah, goodbye.